Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day everyone My name is Gerhadi Amin Musnandika Through this video, I would like to present to you about Wilma Mankiller who is a Native American activist and also the first woman ever be the chief of Cherokee Nation Okay everyone, let's start about Wilma Mankiller biography Wilma Per Mankiller who was born on November 18, 1945 in Taquila, Oklahoma, and she full blood from Cherokee father and a white mother, and she was six of eleven children, and their last name, Mankiller, is taken from a traditional Cherokee Cherokee rank. The Mankiller family were farmers that lived on Mankiller flats in Oklahoma without electricity, indoor plumbing, or telephoning until 1965 when they moved to the San Francisco as a part of Bureau of Indian Affairs, Affairs Relocation Program. Mankiller attended Skyland College and, Francis and San Francisco State University in California before enrolling at Fleming Rainbow University in Oklahoma to to earn she bachelor's degree in this in social science in the 1963 at her 17 Wilma Mankiller married with Hector Huga Olaya de Barty. they have two daughters named Facili Felicia Olaya, born in 1964, and Gina Olaya, born in 60, in, I mean 1966. She was a Cherokee Indian, Dutch, and Irish descent. During November uh, 1969 through to June uh, 1971, she became she became active in the Native American rights movement, who called themselves as an Indian of all tribes in the occupation of Alcatraz Island. After Alcatraz Penitentiary was closed in 1963, many rap power activists believe that according to the Treaty of Fort Lamary, uh, I mean Laramie, the island belonged to the Native Americans. The terms of the term the term of uh, treaty state that all retired abandoned or obvious federal land was supposed to be returned to the native people from whom it was taken. Occupation was officially determined in 1971 by the U.S. government and it was caused by, caused by a lot of controversy and at the end bringing, bringing up a lot of international attention to Native American activists and their issues. Six years later, exactly in 1977, Mankillers and Hector divorced. She and her daughter uh, moved back onto Oklahoma and back onto Mankillers' flats. In 1979, she was doing graduated work and had a fatal car accident with her friend, which her friend was passed away, but a Mankiller didn't know for weeks as she show in she was in the hospital and having multiple sugars done and then uh, she has she has recovery in 1983 Mankiller became the first woman to ever elected deputy chief of the Cherokee nation alongside Roche Wimmer Ross Swimmer, who was serving his third consecutive term as a chief. Uh, she worked closely with a um, man named uh, Carol Soap. He was close family friend and in uh, 1986 uh, they got married. 
Then in 1985, Swimmer resigned and, Man and Mankiller assumed the position of chief, becoming the first woman to ever hold the position in the Cherokee Nation. And in uh, 1987, Mankiller ran her own campaign for election and won by her own prize. And she was re-elected in 1991 and won by her by a landslide with 83% uh, of the vote. During her time as a chief, Mankiller brought the Cherokee Nation together through to community development project, creating space for men and women to work together for the betterment of their community. Her factory users used in an administration that focused on lowering the high unemployment rate and increasing educational opportunities, improving community health care, and developing the economic of the of northeastern Oklahoma. Let's moving on the at the end of Mankiller's life. In the 1991, after she left office, she was invited to teach at Dartmouth, Dartmouth College and receive an honorary degree. In 1998, President uh, of the United States, Bill Clinton, awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The condition of Mankiller's health was poor and, and she has multiple issues including a kidney transplant, cancer, and lymphoma. And But then she still continued to fight for Cherokee Nation until 2010 when in March it was reported that she has been diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer. Less than a month later, Wilma Mankiller passed away from the disease in her house. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I will close this presentation by statement of Barack Obama while when he was hearing the death of women Wilma Mankiller. The state he state that. As the Cherokee Nation's first female chief, she transformed the national to the national relationship between the Cherokee Nation and the fed and federal government and and served as an inspiration to women in Indian country and across America. Her legacy will continue the, to encourage and motivate all who car carry on her work. Thank you for watching and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. Bye.